the stepper widget. This will create a step-by-step -step flow inside your app. To make something like this, we start by creating a variable current step set as zero. In a center widget, we use the stepper widget with the step argument. The first one will be a step. The argument is active is a true or false boolean. And we will define this by saying the current step is equal to zero. If this is true, you will see the information of the current step. Next, you can create a title. It will be step one and the content can be anything. We will use a text with information for step one. But now we will create two other steps. This one will be the step number two with a different logic and the step number three with also a different logic. And now I will show you how to trigger those buttons. First, you will need to use the unstep tab, which gives you a new index. With this, you can set state and set the current step to the new index. Now you can see that I can press on the other steps, but nothing really happened. This is because we need to set the current step to the variable current step. Now, if I click, you will see that the steps are changing. After this, we can use the on step continue. This will say if the current step is not the last one, then you will move forward and go one step further. We will also use the on step cancel. And if it's not the first item, then we will set state and go back from one item before. So now you can click continue and cancel to go back. But you can also change the type with the stepper type dot horizontal. And this will give you an horizontal stepper widget. 